Good morning folks, welcome along to the vlog. This in front of you is a little bit of soapstone and some black limestone. So what we're going to be doing this morning, well it's actually made it to the afternoon now because I've been out to pick this stuff up, is we're going to be using the Makita saw to cut these stones to size. We've got four of them, three here and one there and we're going to be cutting them to fit the tops of the piers. It's been a long time coming and of course I did want to at some point manufacture some pier caps. Maybe cast my own but it's getting to the stage now where I don't think we're going to have time to do it. So I think it's time to bite the bullet and We'll cut some proper solid limestone and cap it with those. I wasn't going to go, I almost did, with the same colour as what these are. But I thought because we've got the black engineering bricks, it would give it some nice contrast. And hopefully that will be like one of the final touches just to finish off the beer garden for now. One other thing that I'm not so keen on. I don't like these coping stones anymore. I've kind of gone off them. We might change them out in the future, but it's not something I'm going to be doing this year. And then the garden section needs sorting out a little bit because it's somewhat untidy. It needs planting up and the camera also needs remounting somewhere. So a few jobs to keep us going today. But first, we slice limestone. We're marked out with the soapstone, 490, 380. Let's get this bad boy set up and start to make some cuts. So I've cut the stones to size. Look at the glorious weather. Maybe we should have opened today. The few people in the bay tree over the road. No, it's coming tomorrow though, <laughs> on reflection. So yeah, I've cut the stones. So these are the factory edges. They look fine. And then this is the edge that I've just prepped up with a grinder and it doesn't look all that bad to be fair here's another one so this is the cut edge that I've done and I've tried to blend it in so it definitely looks like au naturel if you see what I mean I think once that's weathered a little bit in the rain and wind I think it'll come round nicely so all I need to do tighten that screw <laughs> mix up some quick set cement so this is off for tomorrow and then the job that we've got to do after that is uh, to upgrade all the toilet seats. So we've got some soft closed toilet seats, which is uh, more than you get in most pubs, but uh, they're a little bit flimsy and they keep moving. So I've been out and bought these push and clean quiet. So they've got like a silicon seal around the edge so it doesn't make a noise and it seals any sounds and smells inside it's quite cool isn't it and also it has a quick detachment system so you push and lift the seat off and then the staff can get around the back and give it all a clean without pubes and horribleness getting stuck around the back of it so hopefully they're worth the money cheeky brewski Hey Gemma, look at that. It's like a um, a smile that says you shouldn't be doing that. Let's go and have a look at our pier caps and be the first person to place a pint on there for a photo opportunity. There we go. I think that looks about right, don't you boys and girls? I really do. Nice little bed of cement. They're as level as I can get them, which is pretty level. And uh, time to move on to the next job, I think, which is installing these push and clean, quiet toilet seats. So Stuart's had a go at one already. Let's go in and have a look at how he's fared with it. Oh, hello. There we go. Oh, he's not done it. So yeah, silicon gasket on both the lid and the seat 
and I'm guessing is this where he's begin to install it? Must be. Yeah, so those rubber grommets. Ah, here we are. Here we are. So I'm not exactly 100% sure how this all works. So I'll have to have a look on the destructions. But this is meant to be click and lift. That must be a spacer, so you get these in exactly the right position. And then you just drop the seat on and place it downwards. And Robert's your mother's brother. But I won't be doing that right now. Yeah, and then it goes into those two holes on the back. Yeah, I'm not going to do that now because I'm going to go sit at the side of the canal and have a drink of Harrison's Best Bitter. But yeah, there we go. Aha. He's doing it. Snap, snap. Locked 100%. Okay. Tighten them until they snap, by the looks of it. Well, that's handy, then you know you've got the correct tension on there. Very clever. And then what are they? I'll pull the little bits of snapped plastic out. Put your cover caps on. We've got them here. Put the lid on. That looks relatively easy, doesn't it? Tighten to 80%. Line everything up, square the toilet seat up, snap the shizzles off. I think we can do that. But let's go have a drink first. Oh, this is the life, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, cheers, that's a little bit on the cold side. That's come out of the fridge at two degrees. So it's a little bit nippy. I'm just wondering, even though this uh, silver birch tree is quite a nice little feature, it is kind of wrecking the patio. I didn't uh, put foundations along this section here because I know this tree would heave it. So both of these brick piers are essentially standing separately. There's a, a double, and there's a double, and then in the centre where I've got my feet arrested. We put, uh, it's almost like an arch, like what's on that bridge. Very similar. You can almost see it on the bottom there. And uh, like down there, there's like no bricks. So I anticipated this tree and its roots heaving the brickwork and moving stuff around a little bit. It's one of the reasons why I haven't totally tightened up all the screws on the brick piers either, holding the railings in just so they've got a little bit of movement. Um, so yeah, I was just contemplating whose responsibility is this tree? Because uh, it's basically on the embankment of the canal. So surely it's the Canal on River Trust, no? That's kind of what I'm thinking. So I'm hoping I can get in touch with them if Martin's watching this he'll say don't waste your time but yeah I think uh, if we can get in touch with them and ask them if we can get them to come out and remove it because it's quite quite a big old tree now I think it's getting probably into its 20s or 30s and it's going to start doing damage not just to the wall but the roots are going to start heaving the patio and foundations of any of the nearby buildings. We'll see. I mean, if I'd not done so much already this year for other people's properties, I'd be tempted to shoot up there and chop it down myself. But I think that's probably a step too far. I get all the classy jobs. Goodness, I hope you weren't wearing headphones for that. That was extremely loud. Right, can I uh, get into this bag one-handed? Oh, God, left hand as well. 
my good hand. So in here, we've got two of the connectors. These go into the toilet itself. I'll show you. Take this nut off, paying attention to which way it's orientated. If you've got shoulders on the nut, they want to point down. So if you've got a big hole, <laughs> you might be able to slide that whole thing through the hole in the toilet. But look at that. The shoulders on that, they point down the way. The shoulders on this nut, you see the rounded bit, that points down the way. And it all engages in that section there. You'll see what I mean in a moment, because I'm going to go and take this assembly, like that. And this with the little white thing, goes on there, just like that. Same with the other one. And when we get the other one on there, we put this spacer bar on there to hold it into position. Right, we've got the two nuts on, and what we need to do now is just pop this little spacer on, and this allows us to tighten these nuts like 80%. And this spacer just allows us to find the correct width. Oh god, that's a bit tough. I always have moments of struggle in the bathroom. It's part of the course these days, but I've always helped with a copious amount of real ale. So there we go, we've got the right distance between these two pins, that's what we was looking for, that's the idea of that. Because it's less wieldy, I can only assume, than using the seat itself. And then what we're going to do with the seat is we're going to make sure that we're lined up both sides and that the seat stays back when it's up, like that. And then there's a little rubber seal on here, we're going to make sure that it sits nicely on the seat. And I think that's all nice, presented well at the back, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. But yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. So what I want to do now is lift the seat up, and then push down, wiggle side to side, and lift her back off. And off she comes. And now the trick is, we're going to tighten these two nuts up. So, I've tightened my nuts. I'm going to pop on these little protecting stainless steel caps. Probably just going to harvest turds and shit underneath them or something like that. And then uh, lid back on. Oh, I can see that the tightening situation has made one of these move slightly. Just a second. Right, well, I've readjusted them. But as you can see from the wetness of this, it took a trip down the turd tube and I had to fish her out. So I just had to wash my hands. Oh, you would fucking dare, pal. Right. Let's try this again. Yeah, it's still a bit tight for fuck's sakes. Hold on. Haha! <laughs> you shall not beat me. Oh, for fuck's sake, so they all fall down now. We want them to stay up. Maybe this is going to have to come forward a touch, because it is the gents after all. I've tried to adjust it, it doesn't want to stay up, there's not a lot I can do about that. The lid will stay, but the rest won't unfortunately. Hey ho! Well, that's another job in the bag, as good as it's going to get. That's it, it's getting cold outside, can't stand out there drinking all afternoon, can I? So, I'm, I'm half home. Off home folks, toilet seats done, coping done, on the pier caps. Opening day tomorrow, punters in, I'll be having a bit of a slurp on Saturday, 
maybe play a little bit of golf on Sunday and then Monday we'll be in here and we'll be firing this lot up. Oh yes, we're going to fill every single tank I think over the next fortnight. Maybe even a new beer. We shall see. Anyway, we'll see you on the next one, boys and girls. Wish me luck.